is what crossing someone's boundaries looks like. You might think it's not that bad, or not that harmful, but whether intentional or not, some sort of permanent scar or damage can be left behind. Do you ever feel misunderstood, or even worse, not heard or ignored? If so, it's a natural human desire to make our points not only heard, but listened to and discussed, as this inherently deepens our irresistible need for connection, and thus, our feeling of belonging. This also means we generally desire to steer clear of perceived unhelpful conflict and leave conversations feeling content or fulfilled. However, sometimes interactions don't proceed as smoothly as you want or imagined, making relationships difficult territory to maneuver. In this video, we want to talk about the five reasons why boundaries are important and how to set them. If you're someone dealing with this scenario, whether at school, home, or work, we hope that you can utilize these methods to set healthy, or at least healthier, boundaries for yourself. 1. Your emotional health is linked to boundary setting. Setting healthy boundaries has a direct influence on your emotional health. There tends to be a better feeling of control and comfort when you know who you are, how you want to be treated, and what you won't tolerate. Clarity of these aspects helps protect your emotions and helps you stay in control of how you feel. People, however, can be unpredictable, and even the best thought-out interactions don't always unfold as planned. So giving yourself a backup plan or outline of how to respond, should an interaction go awry, is important to maintaining that clarity and control of your situation. This maintenance will help you feel calmer, more confident, and protects your self-esteem when situations with others become difficult. 2. You deserve to be heard and understood. You are the master of you, and thus can allow yourself to feel whatever you feel, regardless of outside input. You matter. Your feelings and emotions matter. You deserve to be loved and understood. We have the desire for others to understand us, or at least acknowledge our perspective, due to that wired need to be loved and to belong. This desire is intensified when the person is someone we care about. According to Psych Central, Healthy boundaries don't always have the same optimal delivery methods. For some, it depends on clear-cut dialogue. For others, being direct is important. Being specific or direct about how we feel is key. This includes sharing our feelings even if we think the other person won't fully understand. It includes standing up for ourselves. These actions enable us to take part in open, active communication, which fosters deeper understanding and a healthier bond. 3. Sometimes situations call for assertiveness. When someone's being pushy or even aggressive, it's hard to apply the standards you set based on your boundaries. But assaults to boundaries threaten the self. Things like ridicule, contempt, judgment, and forcefulness are harmful to our emotional well-being. You deserve respect. This is when assertiveness comes into play. It doesn't mean meeting aggression with aggression. Instead, it means setting healthy boundaries and saying no when you want to, and sticking to your strongly held beliefs, and acting in a way that is in your best interest. You shouldn't have to always adjust to others. Your emotional well-being is important. 4. It allows for growth of self-awareness. Setting boundaries requires you to know what you truly want. You may have to do some soul-searching to figure that out. Soul searching allows us to know ourselves better in the end. Boundaries also allow you to realize that you alone are responsible for your own happiness. No one can mind read or guess what you truly desire with complete accuracy. An example is a situation where you want some space. You can calmly express that in words to the other person. To expect someone to just know without adequate communication is unreasonable. Understanding your boundaries will lead to understanding that you need to communicate or ask for what you want and need. 5. When you're able to communicate your wants and needs appropriately, your relationships with others flourish. For example, partners who are open and honest with each other have a better understanding between them. They know better what upsets their partner and where their limits lie. This enables a happier coexistence all around. The website Break the Cycle posits that setting healthy boundaries in relationships allows both partners to feel comfortable and develop positive self-esteem. Furthermore, with boundaries, you grow to realize that you are whole and good in and of yourself. 
While a partnership can be a positive enhancement, you're capable of surviving without it. No additional pieces needed. Maybe just wanted. Like a bonus. Establishing boundaries is overall conducive to healthy and sustainable coexistence with others, maintaining positive relationships. It's also an important part of staying mentally healthy. If you struggle with interpersonal relationships, whether they be with your boss, partner, or your parents, perhaps the situations can be rectified by examining your boundaries and how you uphold them. Do you agree with the points explained in this video? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video with someone who might benefit from it. And as always, thanks for watching.